Maritime commerce and naval supremacy empowered U.S. influence around the world. But today, our commercial maritime fleet is in decline. Of the 50,000 trading ships that travel the Earth, only 78 fly the U.S. flag, the lowest in history. Consequently, 98% of all U.S. trade some $1.8 trillion of goods and raw materials is carried and controlled on foreign flagged ships. As our flag fleet has dwindled, so have the men and women who crew these vessels and have served honorably in every American war. The United States Merchant Marine. Hundreds of ships have been lost and thousands of mariners have died sailing into combat and blockades under fire transporting military cargo and supplies. Meanwhile, other countries are revitalizing their maritime capabilities. China is creating an integrated maritime capability, building new trade routes, superports, and megaships that can be converted for military use. As their naval and commercial efforts grow, so does their influence, potentially impacting the balance of power in the Pacific. Commercial U.S. flag vessels and the Merchant Marine are vital to our national security. Rebuilding our flag fleet would put a vessel flying the U.S. flag in every part of the world. A visible extension of the power of seaborne trade and presence of our nation. It would preserve our freedom of navigation, provide deterrence, strengthen alliances, and demonstrate U.S. resolve to be a maritime nation. It would let us provide rapid global sea lift and surge capacity to support and sustain our armed forces overseas. It would make the U.S. less dependent on foreign flagships to move our trade. It would enable the U.S. to project power globally, including humanitarian relief anywhere, at any time. But we must start now. As our nation has learned repeatedly, waiting for the drumbeat of war would be too late. Rebuilding the U.S. flag fleet will do for our future what it did in the past. It will create a stronger nation for today and for generations to come.